All right, so today I'm going to teach a counting equation um, which needs some understanding and how I'm going to apply the principle. So a counting equation go hand in hand with a balance sheet. It also go hand in hand with income statement because the element that we are going to use under accounting equation is the same element that we take from a balance sheet or statement of financial position together with income statement okay so firstly um, we have to understand the first rule that we have to know in order for us to to understand the accounting equation okay the first rule you need to know the balance sheet in and out you need to know what fall under assets in a balance sheet remember under a balance sheet we firstly have an asset which under assets we have a non current assets for example under non current assets we have ppe item like equipment vehicle land and building and so on and so on so you you need to un to understand and know the balance sheet format in order for you to pick up the the correct uh, uh, answer when we go to accounting equation because they go hand in hand all right then the second one you have to know your income statement element you have to know your income statement comprise of sales cost of sales gross profit other income expenses and operating expenses and so on and so on so you need to, to know the income statement format all right then the second rule that you need to understand is that if you were dealing with an asset it doesn't matter whether it's a non-current asset or it's a current asset you have to know that an asset increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side you have to know this rule in and out okay then when we go to equity and liability these two account they both decrease on the debit and increase on the credit equity increase on the increase on the credit and decrease on the debit same as liability these two account they are opposite with an asset so you have to know that all right then the third rule you have to know that when we are dealing with accounting equation if one account is debited the other one must be credited there is no way that you will find a transaction that all amount you are going to debit no it doesn't work like that the one must be debited the other one must be credited after all the amount on the debit must be the same amount on the credit that's where you we gonna say that the balance sheet has balance because accounting equation is the same as balance sheet is the same as income statement all right then now let's go to our example all right let's look at this example with transaction number one until to number four let's try to deal with this transaction and see if we can be able to do our accounting equation all right the first one said a rent of six thousand has been received from a tenant who rented in our company all right so now we have to pick up two element which has been affected by this transaction the first element that you have to pick out of course is a rent now we have to understand who rented a tenant is someone who rented to us it simply means that the person must pay what a rent all right so which means that in this case the company has received money if the company receive money the account which is going to be affected is a bank remember 
bank if you check on your balance sheet you will find it under current assets which means that the bank is saying what is an asset all right if we receive money of course our account is going to do it to increase which means that our bank is going to increase our assets all right our assets increase on the debit side which means it's going to be debited bank then the amount will be six thousand all right now we have to find out what to credit is a rent income if you check the rent income is fall under income statement whatever that fall under income statement guys you have to debit or credit it on equity whatever that fall under income statement is from part of equity all right which means that we are going to credit rent income then the amount will be six thousand remember rent income is an income which means it's a plus sign all right which means our liability will have no effect in this case all right let's go to second transaction the company bought a vehicle on credit by sixty thousand now we have to pick up two elements which is going to be affected all right so the company bought a vehicle the first element will be a vehicle if you look at your balance sheet a vehicle is an assets under non-current assets under ppe item which means that our assets is going to be affected how is it vehicle com coming in or going out of course the vehicle is coming in which means it's going to increase our assets which means we are going to debit vehicle with the amount of 60,000 this 60,000 is a plus because it's increased our assets all right then the other account which is going to be affected remember we didn't purchase it in cash but in credit which means that we have a liability to the company that will purchase what a vehicle we owe the company which means now we have to credit payable or creditors control is the same with the amount of sixty thousand so why our liability is going up is because we have been paid our creditors we just took the vehicle free then we still have to to pay what our creditors all right then transaction number four it says that transaction number okay transaction number three the sales of five thousand were made during the year which were all in cash sales so in this transaction we have to pick up two element the first one is a sale of course then the second one remember we have to check whether it was the sales was made on credit or on cash basis so in this one we found that it's a cash basis which means that the bank will be affected so if we made a sale of course we receive cash if we receive cash our bank is going to do what to increase it's going to increase by five thousand okay then the second one is sale remember sales is part of income statement and i told you that everything that fall under income statement must be part of equity which means that we have to credit sales 
with an amount of 5,000 then our liability will be zero because there will be no effect okay then the last one number four amount of 60,000 owed to creditors has been paid remember we purchase a vehicle on credit at the beginning now at the end the 60,000 has been paid in other words we take the money out from our business which means our assets has decreased because the bank now the cash has been reduced because we pay our creditors 60,000 60,000 has been paid now what will happen to liability is it going to increase or decrease the liability is going to decrease on the David side why because now we no longer owe these creditors which means that we have to subtract that liability that we have recorded before so this is how you should do your accounting equation accounting equation is a startup for accounting if you understand the format of balance sheet and income statement you will never go wrong when we deal with a accounting equation remember you also have to master the principle which says that the assets increase on the debit and decrease on the credit that's the principle that you have to master in and out so that you will never go wrong when you are dealing with accounting equation thank you for watching video i hope to see you next time please don't forget to subscribe if you are accounting student thank you